Master Chief, Marcus Phoenix, Alan Wake. They all have something in common. Can you guess what it is? The answer? They're on our top 10 list of Xbox characters. But who else made the cut? Well, we went through all the generations. Xbox Classic, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. And here's what we've decided. How? Oh, I'm the strangest thing you've seen all day. A lot of you probably only know Cortana as the digital assistant of Windows 10 or Xbox One. But the female PC voice and hologram started out as Master Chief's closest confidant. The one who was always by his side during his missions. What's more, she's not only a virtual assistant, but also capable of showing feelings. I've waited so long to do that. It's party time! Rare had a creative idea for the start of the Xbox 360, and it came in the form of Viva Piñata, a life simulation with piñatas, cardboard figures filled with delicious candy. One of the things you need to do in the game is take care of piñata's children. It was a wacky idea, but it worked. Almost everyone knows about Secret Agent 007, but we think that Joanna Dark is so much cooler. Plus, she uses way more high-tech gadgets. Perfect Dark started on Nintendo 64 and was infamous for its depiction of violence. However, its prequel, Perfect Dark Zero, was released on Xbox when the 360 was launched. The prequel tells the story of Joanna before her employment at the Carrington Institute. And while the game didn't meet everyone's high expectations, Joanna definitely won the hearts of fans, old and new, in the remaster of the original game. Alan Wake is a normal author who's suffering from writer's block, which is why he goes on vacation to Bright Falls. He hopes that a bit of time off will help him start writing again. But during the first night there, his wife disappears, and strange things start happening. He finds pages from a manuscript that he wrote, but doesn't remember writing, and to top it all off, he's being haunted by obsessed villagers. The game makes you wonder, has Alan gone crazy? Or is everything really happening? They just disappeared. If I was dreaming. It felt real enough to make me sick. Oh, he's angry, and I don't like him. Conker started out on Nintendo 64 and then went over to Xbox with Microsoft and Rare. The little fellow may be cute, but he's definitely not well behaved. Conker's Bad Fur Day first appeared in 2001 on the Nintendo 64, and then later by the name Conker Live and Reloaded on the Xbox, with better textures and higher resolutions. In 2018, the game was even released for the Xbox One X in 4K. But sadly, since then, we haven't heard a lot about Conker. The last time this happened, I wasn't even on fire. Whoever knows Gears of War also knows The Cold Train, Augustus Cole. He's a former star of Trash Ball, a futuristic version of American football, and he always has a funny line ready to go, which makes you laugh even in the middle of a war. However, Cole is more than just a talker. He also fights like a bear. Try to tell you to stay away from that chopper, man. Sounds like shit got thick for you. Get dead. Thanks for the assist, Cole. Oh, you Jack Joyce. Where is he? Where's my brother? Who do you think? Jack Joyce got involved in an experiment, which of course went wrong. And afterwards, he got strange new skills, like the ability 
to influence time. Thankfully, Jack doesn't use his new skills for bad, but rather to prevent his friend Paul from plunging the world into misfortune. Ori, the guardian spirit, is a character that stole our hearts from the very beginning of the game, not only because of its cuteness and unique appearance, but also because of its kind and forgiving character, even when it's faced with hardships. Ori is pure, childlike and innocent, and even needs to be taken care of in the beginning of the game. But it never gives up and doesn't pause for a second if someone needs help, even when faced with death itself. To where Prescott managed to find a helicopter. He sure as hell didn't leave with one. He never called, he never sent flowers. Oh, I can't wait to. Marcus Phoenix was born 21 years before the E Day and isn't your classic type of hero. But it doesn't matter because he faces the locust invasion in Gears of War anyway. Together with his father, he creates a weapon of mass destruction, which should be able to eradicate the Lambent and Locust. At least for a certain amount of time. I'll try not to get myself killed, Sergeant. Yeah, you do that. I'm not the conversational type. But when I get back, I want a nice long chat. An Xbox without Master Chief just wouldn't be an Xbox. What Mario is for Nintendo, Master Chief is for Xbox. He has no face, but he still managed to receive almost every award the United Nations Space Command has given out in the last 30 years. But Microsoft made a fatal mistake with Halo 5 Guardians. They withdrew the main hero, John 117, and this has riled a lot of fans. So did we forget anybody? Who are your favorite Xbox characters? 